Hello everybody, Brightest Blessings. I'm Amethyst Moonflower and welcome to my channel. And today I am doing the much anticipated, waited for video of my new updated flip through of my big book of shadows. And I know you've all been waiting so patiently. Thank you. And I'm so happy that you're here and that I'm doing this with you. And I hope that you enjoy looking through the progress that I've made. And yeah, so before I open the book though, I did want to take a moment to answer a few commonly asked questions that I get a lot in the comments section of the other video that I made before we move on. And so question number one is what type of book is this and all that type of stuff. It's a post bound book and you can look up on YouTube all different kinds of videos on how to make a post bound book. Um, there's lots of videos. That's how I learned how to make mine and pretty much a post bound book is a book that uses these post screws or post binding screws um, and when you make the book you know these are what hold it in sort of like a binder and the screws allow you to be able to take the pages in and out and hold everything in securely um, these post binding screws are four inches long um, good luck trying to find those now apparently they don't really make four inch binding screws anymore or they're just really 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 hard to find but if you find you can get extension for them to make them longer if that's what you're looking for so just keep your eyes open and get yourself some extension screws if you need to but uh yeah and uh, another it is uh the size of the book is four inches thick on the spine and it's standard uh, printer paper size, letter size, the eight and a half by 11. And as you, as I flip through, you'll see that there's a lot of different types of paper in here. I coffee dye, tea dye, um, my paper. And I also have used, um, black food coloring to get like this really pretty, um, burgundy, rosy, color and I've also used um, vegan fox hair dye mixed with water to get um, really pretty purple pages and so if you're interested in just wanting different colored paper just experiment and uh, try new things to to get different colors um, it's really it really is just about experimenting and trying new things and seeing what the results are and uh, that is what I think are the most commonly asked questions. So yeah, this is the cover of the book. And as you open it up, I have a folder on the side here. This is my cover page of this pretty Celtic elven style pentagram that it's not my original design. I just copied it and painted it and put it in here. And then, at, actually, I'm going to have to, to prop this book up. And if the table shakes, I'm sorry. Um, it's a really heavy, big book. <laughs> so there's my opening cover page. And then here's a picture of me and another cover page here to introduce you. And then here is my Book of Shadows Blessing page. Um, yeah, and, oh, and I should also mention that as we go through, you'll probably notice that some of the pages are different from the last time, and that's because I have, uh, sort of updated information in certain sections, and that's one of the reasons why I like post-found books, is because you can take pages in and out as you desire, and if you write something and five years later you decide that you know that information needs to be updated or you just want to change it you can you could always change it and so here is the sacred tradition of earth star wicca it's earth star wicca is like my brand of wicca my personal tradition 
Uh, this is just a description of my beliefs and the tradition and everything like that. And then we have the five pillars of Earth Star Wicca, which are basically just like the top five things that sort of build my beliefs or what I'm the my foundations of what I use throughout my practice. And here is the creed of Earth Star Wicca and the code of ethics of Earth Star Wicca. My own personal ethics. And then the seven hermetic principles. And here is a really good example of the difference in uh, the dyed paper. Like this paper here was where I used the, uh, the fox hair dye. And then here is the paper where I used uh, black food coloring. So you can see the difference in the, in the tone or the shade of the color, which I like. It's really pretty. I like seeing different colors. And then the witch's pyramid. To know, to will, to dare, and to keep silent. And the Wiccan read. And then the Wiccan creation story, which is a printed PDF, a free printable that I found online. The Moonlight Shop is where I found that. And then here is my about Wicca witchcraft section. So like what is witchcraft and different types of witchcraft, traditional, green, kitchen, ceremonial, psychic, elemental, cosmic crystal, and modern new age and hereditary witch. Now, obviously that's not a full list. I mean, every, there's so many different types of witches out there. Every witch is their own type. These are just the more um, commonly known or the ones that I resonate with the most, you know, the, cause I would, I could write a whole book on the different types of witchcraft and then what is Wicca and a little bit about Wicca and then what is paganism, which I know this is a section that I updated from last time. And that's just because I felt like the information that I had originally was a little out of date. So I updated it mainly on like information about the different paths that I have listed here Nordic, Celtic, Hellenism, Kemetism, Hinduism, Mesopotamian, and there's there's more but I stopped. <laughs> and then um uh, magical tools. This is my magical tools section. The pentacle, the wand, athame, chalice, cauldron and basalm. Bowline, mortar and pestle, candle, sensor, incense, and more tools and materials. And then the consecration of those tools ritual. And then altars and different types of altars you may find. The working, seasonal, moon, elemental, ancestral, deity, meditation, and mini spell altar. And an altar blessing. And then creating sacred space. So indoor and outdoor spaces. And then the consecration of sacred space ritual. And then a little blurb on solitary versus coven. What to expect. And then my what is magic section. Talking about what magic is and how it works. And the different types of magic. Here I have sympathetic, contagious, high versus low, ceremonial, folk, elemental, candle, herbal, manifestation, not, crystal, binding, hexes and curses, healing magic, money magic, glamour, mirror magic, Protection, banishing, love and sex magic, psychic and divination, astral travel and dream magic, color magic, sigil magic, amulets and talismans, poppet, star magic, weather magic. So I kind of went off on a little, a lot more in that section. And then this is my 
still haven't filled out Spiritual Journey, where it was going to be sort of like a mini bibliography, and then these two pictures of myself in a dress that I made that I wore for Halloween, and my personal numerology report, and then a section on energy work, which I only have a little bit in here so far. But I have the, the chakra section about the chakras and the different chakras, which is the same from last time. And then space for more stuff. And then here is the section on the elements, which I ended up redrawing and then coloring in all of these pages. And these are kind of more like cover pages. I have more that I have planned to put in here. But here's the earth. And I have in here earth, the natural world, earth within us, and earth magic. And then the invoking and banishing pentagrams for each. Element of air. Element of fire. The element of water. And the element of spirit. And then the moon phases magic section. So moon magic and the different phases of the moons. The western moon calendar. The Celtic tree moon calendar. And more different kinds of moons like eclipses and blue moons and the ring around the moon. Things to do on the new moon and full moon. And then the 2023 moon calendar, which I need to update because I made a mistake. Not realizing that Aries was go the Aries new moon was going to uh, repeat and then move Taurus and everything else down on the list. So I have to redo this page. And then here is a section on the moon through the zodiac. So I've updated this section from last time as well. Um... I'm redoing all of the different moons, and I haven't really done all of them yet. I just have some that I've gotten done, but I'm working my way through it. And then the Wheel of the Year about the Sabbaths. So here I have like a little sundial. And then about the Wheel of the Year, and then the Wheel of the Year, a Pagan Story, which I don't really remember where I got the story from, or what the original name of the story is called. That's just what I call it. But um, it's a story about the god and the goddess as they travel through the seasons throughout the year, and their um, journey through life, death, birth, and love, and all that stuff. So there's sort of short story. And then here we have the different seasons or Sabbaths, Imbolc, Astara, Beltane, Litha, Lamas, Mabon, Samhain, and Yule. And then my spell casting section, which I don't really have a whole lot in here right now. Uh, this is the kind of the basics to how to make a spell. And this is a spell that I was currently working on to kind of like make this page on banishing the bullshit. And then my metamorphosis spell slash meditation slash magic. Which is kind of like all about spiritual alchemy and transformation. And then here is the section on magical symbols and correspondences. So we have color magic or color correspondences, feathers, magical shapes and symbols. Um, these sort of sigils and the witch's alphabet. 
number correspondences, daily influences, so all the days of the week and their correspondences. Magical tides is like the different times of day. And using the witch's wheel to create sigils. And then here's circles and ceremonies. So, you know, all the uh, steps that you take and things to expect and how to plan a circle and how to, you know, work in a group and all that kind of stuff. And then ritual components. So what to do before a ritual and during a ritual. Preparing your sacred space. Ritual bath. Ground and center. Pre-ceremonial blessing. Short circle casting. And then the full circle casting. Calling upon the elements. Cakes and wine. And closing the circle. And then here are my SBAT rituals for the new moon and the full moon. And I also updated these pages from last time as well. Um, I rewrote the ritual so that um, my husband and me can perform it together. So that we have both the, the uh, priest and priestess role or male and female role. And so the purple is what I would say, and then the pink is what he would say. And I did the same thing for uh, the full moon ritual as well. Updating that so that we know each other's own speaking parts. And then the blessed moon water, the charge of the goddess, and all those other moon things. And then the sabbat rituals, all eight sabbats. Ostara, Beltane. With the Lamas, Samhain, and Yule. All eight in here. And then here I have a ceremonial magic section, which here we have like uh, the Cabal, Tree of Life. And then I have the Kabbalic Cross the LBRP, Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram. The Middle Pillar. And uh, what else do I have? Circulation of the Body of Light. And then this is my Herbal Magic section. So I have a little bit of information on Herbal Magic. Things that you'll need, how to gather, harvesting and storage, ethical sourcing and practical learning and advancement. And I've got more that I was going to put in here, but I just haven't got to it. And then my grimoire section where I have different plants. And I updated this as well because I decided to just start off with my most commonly used herbs and the herbs that I have in my sec in my uh, collection so I what I had lavender on this side and I listed the magical properties correspond magical correspondences and properties and then the medicinal information about them as well if there is inf medicinal information so rosemary white sage chamomile rose Moonflower, Morning Glory, and obviously if there is no medicinal section, it's either because, you know, it's poisonous and shouldn't be used that way, or there's just not enough information on it to to have anything. Starflower and Mint, which that's where I'm at so far in my herb section. And then my Crystal Magic section, 
is still not filled out. But, you know, this information is... I have a bunch of books on crystals. There's a lot of information online. <clears throat> I know a lot of this stuff kind of already at the top of my head. So, it's not something that I'm, like, rushing to get done. I can pull that out now. But I do plan on getting to it one of these days. <laughs> And then here are a few sections that I don't have anything in, but I plan on... I had to pull the empty pages out in order to make room for everything in here. So the energy healing, psychic development, divination, and astrology are, are all... These are all empty. And then here's the astrology section. And this is my birth chart right here. And then this is my husband's birth chart. And this is my daughter's birth chart. So I have all three of our birth charts in here. And then a key for the houses. And then all the planets. And all the signs in the, under the sun. All the sun signs I did. And then... After the sun signs, I have all the other planets. So the moon. And then I have a section where I'm going to be filling out a little bit of information about each planet in each sign. So I got Mercury here. Venus. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So that's what I have so far in my astrology section. And then a couple more. These are all just pretty much empty sections as well that I haven't filled out anything in yet. Spirit realms and communications. Spirit, animals, and familiars, realms of the fae, and mystical creatures, and then gods and goddesses, deity work, which so far is just their pictures. I haven't put any information in here yet about them. Though I do plan on doing lots and lots of research about those. And then in the back is my family tree, which I only need my dad's parents' names, but my dad abandoned me when I was a kid, so his information is super hard to find. Um, I've been trying to get a hold of some people to, to, to get their names. Um, but yeah, once I get his parents' names, then my, my tree will be complete. And so that is the progress that I've made in about, this is about three years worth of, uh, writing and work. And I'm super proud of myself and I'm so happy to be made the progress that I have made. And I know that I have so much more that I want to do. And I do actually plan on making a new postbound book of Shadows specifically for, you know, more of the ritual stuff. I've moved all that into a binder and it's working, but I really just want it to be in a, in a book. And so when I get around to actually making that book, I plan on filming it and showing you guys how I do that and everything. So if you, I hope you enjoyed looking and seeing what I've done in the last year or so since the last video. I hope that it inspires you and I hope that you all have a wonderful, magical, witchy day and all those blessings come to you and... I hope you all just enjoy everything that's coming your way. And thank you all for being here with me and supporting my channel and watching me grow. And I hope you all just have a wonderful day. And all right. Thank you and have a wonderful day.